I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Do less to some beautiful seasonal food and throw it together. I've just got to do something. Are we expected to serve that in a bloody bowl? Let's spook a normal. No! No! That is minging. What the hell is going on? What are we doing? What are we making? Why would they only be sliced halfway through? Hello, boys. Hello, Janice. Hey, Janice. Black voice. Buckle up, because today's theme is tapas. Calm yourself, Spafford. <laughs> King of Spain over here. She developed a lisp in the last. <laughs> <laughs> you must create at least three small plates using the three dishes in front of you. Okay. At least three tapas. Okay. Using all of these three. At least, I guess. Okay. No, Ebers, don't put them like that. Ebers, for goodness sake! The order will be decided by spinning the wheel behind you. Spin now to find out who goes first, and spin after your turn for who goes next. No cheating, no double turns. Great. Not allowed to go twice, I that would makes really sense. rather not go first. Ben's first! Should I kick started then? Yeah. Oh, that's yep. bad. That's not good. He's going to force us down a path and we're going to ignore it. Okay, I'm going to have to really, really rein it in here because for me, tapas is do less to some beautiful seasonal food and throw it together. So I am going to start with something that deliberately takes the longest time to cook and see if we can do something fun with it. It's seasonal, we won't use it for much else. Let's roast off some pumpkin. I'd love if it was sort of seasonal and delicious and small thing to share. Like bearing in mind that so often tapas is a number of different dishes, maybe a meaty thing, maybe a fishy thing, maybe a veggie thing. Also, they're quite small plates, so we probably don't need a whole pumpkin. So I'm going to do nice wedges that could then, once they're roasted, be stacked up on a plate and dressed with some lovely other ingredients. I've seen anchovies, I've seen chorizo, I've seen nice Spanish hams. Oil, salt and pepper. Spanish tortilla, basically, Eggs, crispy shallots already cooked, so they have that sweetness. Smoked paprika. Okay, let's talk tradition. Normally, lots of olive oil, and then you fry potatoes and optional onions in a pan. Then you add it into egg that are seasoned and you cook it out. What about if we skip the frying of the potatoes and just use fried potatoes? Olive oil in our pan. I'm gonna crack in another egg. Or two. This one I wanna get on because it needs to be cooked, it needs to be flipped, it needs to be cooked through and cool enough to cut. Not cold, but sign to serve warm and room temperature. Better. Meanwhile, I've got a hot pan to sear off some figs. Beautiful seasonal color, flavor. If you're not careful, too sweet. Natural sugars and figs are gonna come through nicely. We haven't used this yet. That was the vinegar that we made in that. And it was flavored with raspberry and basil. So those flavors, as an acidity with these figs, will be beautiful. Sweet, fragrant, charred from the olive oil. Tapas one on the way, pumpkin needs to happen. Tapas two on the way needs to be flipped. Tapas three, could just be something flaked over the top. Let's spook a normal, because in the spirit of passing it on, I think it would be lovely to do cod's cheek with the fig on this plate. Pumpkin on a bigger plate. Not on these plates. Turns out I've done big things. Everything will need cutting up. Okay, time up. I feel like I've left key steer. Figs on one plate, pumpkin on another, tortilla and cod. 
that strong, I'd give myself a solid eight out of 10, which I know is bold, but tapas is simple. I've done simple things. Who's next? Let's spin the wheel. Jamie. No! 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 What is that? Put this over here for now so I don't have to look at it whilst I see what's going on. We have a tortilla with kettle chips. Ebers has been reading CBA3. We have figs. Okay. Butternut squash. Close. Pumpkin. So they've got to have something within them, with them, on them. And then there's a fish head. A giant fish head. And what's that? Oh God, that's another giant fish head. Is that monkfish? Figs and butternut squash, is that going to go together as a dish? What we could do is make a little, um, a, li <laughs> a little sauce. We could do... Come on. I'm ignoring the cod head for a minute. What I'm going to do instead is play to my safety. Um, so we're going to do chorizo and sherry. Um, let's get that frying off. I'm going to make chorizo rounds and I'm going to put it on some um, toast rounds as well. And that's going to be um, a contribution. <laughs> Success for this, I think, is getting at least three very nice looking dishes cooked. We get that frying off and I'm going to put some sherry in with it as well. In the meantime, these are pre-sliced. So. <laughs> Why would they only be sliced? Halfway through! Look! That oh it is sliced. Yeah, that's on me. That's on me guys. <laughs> right, we're gonna toast these off in some oil. Um this would work really well in an air fryer. I've seen that on TikTok. Into an oven for a few minutes. That's going. This isn't really doing much yet. Food waste. I'm gonna have to try one. Oh, it's got some things in it. Might have found that in it. I have massively underjudged how much time I had. I'm gonna score myself a confident 4.3. Should we say who's next? It's Mike. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Oh, I hate this format. Chorizo, what a surprise Jamie's been in. Whoa, that is minging. Oh God, I can't tell whether this is clever from a chef or whether Jamie's tried to make a tortilla out of crisps. Crustinis. Um, where is this? Get on my face. Do I flip it? I don't know how to. I flipped it. What are we doing? What are we making? Serrano ham. I will use that. Ham, nuts. Think about this. Come on. I've just got to do something. Figs and ham. Should I just put them on the dish and then it's done? <sighs> Come on. I'm really, really, really panicking. So I'm just going to start putting things on dishes and trying to imagine them. So if we've got that, what is the... Why have they got these toasted off pre-sliced buns? It feels cooked. So I've, I've taken it off. Right. Come on, Mike. Right. Are we, uh, something sweet? We could put something else. I think as long as Baz can just, you know, put, put something, I don't know, like a drizzle of something like honey. I'm having a, I'm having a mare. Get off! Why is everything on? I'm just going to put that there. He can figure that out. Right. What's the pumpkin? Is it cooked? Is it pumpkin? Well, yeah, it's cooked. Toast some hazelnuts. Come on, Mike. Maybe blitz them up. Come on, that needs to get nice and hot. Maybe serve them, sprinkle them around there. Let's get some herbs and stuff. Chop up some parsley. Let's go and get some honey or something. Why don't we heat up some marmalade and serve that with some of our, our figs? 
they're probably better just being smushed and put on the crustini with chorizo. Are we doing this? Am I doing that? Okay, smushing that. I just want to leave him a few clues as to what on earth this could be. That is me done. That was some A-grade huddle storm that you just witnessed there. I am going to give myself a six because I do feel like we've got our dishes here. It just needs a bit of Barry Taylor flair to add the finishing touches to each of them. Okay, there has been a lot having a tortilla that looks pretty solid. Chorizo, standard. They look like quail's eggs. What are they? They're nuts, hazelnuts. Burnt hazelnuts. Um, pumpkin. What the hell is going on? We've got one dish here, which is figs and ham. What is that? That is that. Is that? <laughs> is that just mashed butter? Is that mashed pumpkin? We got this. Are we expected to serve that in a bloody bowl? Is that what we expected to do? That looks. <laughs> sorry. We'll eat that later on. Ben must have made this. He's got Ben's name all over it. Some tomatoes, a little bit of tomato paste. Thank you very much. Right, I've got nothing for this here, and I need something of like a saucy substance because there's no. Shallots will work for it as well. Chorizo will work in it. Can I get a bit of garlic? Thank you. Right, so we're going for mayonnaise, we're doing cheese aioli to go on top. Four minutes to do something with a smoking pan. I realise we've got, a, we've got, I want a bowl of flavour. I don't know what that flavour is going to be yet, but I just want to cook some stuff in a pan, get it charred. Ugh! Someone with not sticky hands. My hands are never sticky. Right, just burn, thank you. Yes. Got some bacchio peppers. I just want to really quickly, Mix these flavours up in a bowl. We're taking the chorizo, which I'm guessing Jamie made earlier. Chunks of this, rip it up. Oh my God, there's a fish staring at me. Where did that come from? Right, that's not a cooking time. I'll have that for supper. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of chilli in this as well, because it's a super hot. The only cheese I can find is mozzarella. Less than a minute! Olive oil! Olive oil! Yeah! Hazelnut on top. Crispy onions on top. And that is a Barry Lucky Dip. I don't know if that's going to come together or not, honestly. Um, I think that's a, that's a, that's a four. It's a four for me. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Very ready. Three tapas. Tapas. That is indeed oh. three tapas. We've got roasted figs and ham. Kettle chip tortillas with a garlic aioli. And then we have a lucky dip, people. Oh, good. A oh, what do you mean a lucky, a lucky dip? A lucky Spanish dip. Very flavor. tasty. It's nice to have that slightly gooey middle. Mm. But this is a little overcooked, but it's tasty. It's all the flavours, right? Mm. Super simple. Fresh, sweet. Love that. Mm. Mm. It's, it's what's exciting. in this? Barry, what is this? What is there? It's There's Italian hot dog cheese. in it. Get in there, it's exciting. It's not. It's so exciting. It's confused. Yeah, I mean, and you can't deny it doesn't taste good. It doesn't, no, it doesn't taste, taste good. good. I like it. The task was to use these three specific plates. And when I came to the kitchen, ah. this was plated. Mm. On this plate here were your crostinis with smashed pumpkin and a 
bit of chorizo on top. This was empty. The crostinis were done, it was plated, but you went, I'm not in love with those, Sorry. I'm going to change Sorry. it. Are you, are you expecting me to plate those crostinis in a bowl? No, they were already on. You said they were already on that plate. I know, but there's, there, where am I going to put the tortilla? On Get another, another plate. plate. Use that plate. as a dip pot. It said, or make a fourth it's, one. It said for those three at bowls. least. Is that what you said, Janice? Yes, Barry. At least three. <laughs> okay. I set up two dishes and I passed on cod's cheek, which would have been wonderful. And you had thirty minutes. Yeah. And it never made it. No, I passed it on as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I left where's, it. I left it right show? there. I see it. I passed it on back over to the <laughs> side. <laughs> Why am I doing with cod's cheek? What's like, the point of a chef goes first if he doesn't steer it in a direction that pushes you to something new and exciting? It did. Look. <laughs> I don't want to preempt fate, Ebbers, but are you going to pass this or fail it? Two thirds of it was a success, but I'm not sure it's there worthy of 40 minutes. No, I think it's a fail. What did you score yourself? Eight, leaving you with both of those dishes. I scored myself a 4.3. It's a fail from me. I scored myself a six, really, really generous, <laughs> and it's a fail. <laughs> yes, I think it's a fail, and I gave myself a four, which was generous. I honestly thought, when we had this brief, it was one within reach, because yeah. tapas is deliberately very simple, and we still try to overcomplicate it. Well, it's over to you. Comment down below. You've seen the whole thing. Where did we go wrong? Point the blame. Let us know, and see if we can read through it and learn some stuff. There was a dish plated, and Don't you got rid of no. it. You got no. rid of it.